So I am going to go into this and I'm going to go to the page that we're interested in. I'm going to show you how this can extremely easily be done um, using, uh, using Excel. Okay. I'm going to open Excel. So you can, so I guess it sounds like you have the ability to download this from your uh, Windows Office account that, uh, that the school gives you. All right, here's an Excel spreadsheet. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back here to this data. Because it's in a table already, that's the beauty of this, I can just highlight the table. I'm going to copy. Okay, now I'm going to come over to my spreadsheet. I'm going to paste. And it just pasted that whole, it just pasted that whole thing in. Now, what is what am I going to do next? I am going to highlight these three columns, and then I'm going to say insert chart, and I want a scatter chart. Remember, I said a line graph is also called a scatter plot. Okay, and I'm going to say scatter with lines. Done. Okay, I have now graphed that data. If I want to give it a title, uh, blood glucose levels. Let me see. Is there anything else I'm missing? Oh, I'm missing. Uh, okay, I actually don't have labels on my axes. So this, the latest version of this, just has this little plus sign I can hit, uh, access titles. Okay. I call this, what is this? This is, this is a time after eating, right? Okay. And that access is called Blood glucose in milliliters per liter. Time after eating hours. There. And now I can do all kinds of things. I can take this, I can copy it and put it into a PowerPoint. I could copy it and put it into a Word document. I can do just about anything. Um, so let me go ahead and turn the recording off. But I will take that recording and I'll post it online uh, so that you have instructions. Yes.